Good morning, Peter. Good morning, Lucy. How are you? Very well. Thanks. How about you? I have a headache. Did you go to the doctor or take medicine? I'm stuck with a new project. It makes me overthink. So the only cure is to get the job done. I know, but how to do it, I don't know. What project do I not know about? I need to hire a company to write a sales website at a low cost. It's too simple. I will send you a list of software companies that have worked with our company. The bottom line is low cost. Then negotiate with them. The company that offers the lowest price is also three times the budget for the project. Maybe you should ask John. I think he can help. You're right. Let me call him. Hello, John. How have you been? Well, a little crazy, actually. Maybe someone needs to talk. I'm a bit busy. What are you doing, calling me? I need your help on a low-cost website project for the company. Wait a minute. I'll be right there. I thought you were busy. You're right. I need someone to talk to. Well then, talking in person is better than over the phone. Are you here too, Lucy? I'm the one who mentioned you to Peter. You two are my saviors. I still don't understand what you mean. He needs to design a sales website for his company, but cannot find it outsourced. It's not that I can't find it; it's that the budget is too low. How much budget? Five thousand dollars. Not too low. You can create it with web creation software. The site is complex and needs programming. It's hard at that price. Why don't you ask for more budget? I asked but was not accepted. Perhaps our company is in financial difficulty. The company's finances are in good shape. Why be stingy with such an important project? Or bosses are looking to save money. No, it's not. The problem is with our new CEO. He's a funny guy. Why does he have to? It's not his money. He wants to impress the shareholders. By cutting costs. He should improve the product quality instead of saving. He even reduced staff. No wonder I see my work more. More and more work. Why cut staff? I have to work overtime and still haven't finished the work. Poor you. My team doesn't have too much work. Working too much will affect the quality of work. And caused staff like me to be severely depressed. We have to do something to protect ourselves. We can report to unions and organize protests. We shouldn't do that because he will casually fire us. If there is more work, I will resign. If I can't find anyone who can make a website, I'll be fired. You just mentioned it to me. Why don't we hire a freelancer to do it? That's a good idea. Can an individual undertake such a project? I know a very good freelancer who can take your project. I'm still afraid he can't do it. He is very good at web design and has a reputation for getting the job done on time. That's great. Can you send me his contact information? Okay, I'll send it to you as soon as I get back to my desk. The problem is almost solved. Thank you very much. You're welcome.
Do you know the marital status of the new CEO? You're probably the only one who cares. I heard that he is a celibate. That's a pity. He's very handsome. Maybe he's just too busy with work. He is ambitious in his work. Maybe he still wants to date? He's too busy to date. We shouldn't gossip about him. Yes, but he is very attractive. Do you want me to match him for you? No, I don't like matchmaking. Besides, I don't like him. Why are you praising him so much? I'm just describing the truth. He's handsome but rugged. He just does his job. Why doesn't anyone advise him on how he works? There were also many comments but he did not change. Maybe he was under pressure from shareholders. Look, there's an email from our dear CEO. Speak of the devil. What did he say? He's sorry about making us work hard. Did he promise to change anything? He said it was necessary for the company's growth. So nothing will change. Wait for her to finish reading it. He said he would reduce work and raise wages for employees. Great, I like it. What about budgets for projects? You will probably finish your project on a low budget already. Good news for us on the first morning of the week. Questions and answers about gossip. Do your friends often gossip about you? No, they don't. Why do you think people like to listen to gossip? Why do people enjoy gossip? I think because it's interesting. Do you like to read gossip newspapers? Yes, I do. How would you deal with gossip about you? I usually ignore it. Have you ever been the victim of gossip? Maybe I have. Can you trust a friend that likes to gossip? No, I don't trust that person. Do you pay attention to gossip and rumors? I'm quite interested in it. Do you easily believe everything you hear? No, I don't.